Hi, this is Linda, and I'm so excited to be here today to share with you guys my plan for Week in the Life 2024. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so I haven't done anything in my album yet, but I have done a little bit of sketching and planning and brainstorming, and I wanted to share with you my initial thoughts before I started putting my album together and getting ready for the week. So for Week in the Life, I have done this, this project every single year since 2015. So that makes this my 10th year doing Week in the Life. So this is a project I am super familiar with. So I had gotten myself really into a routine of what works and what doesn't work for me. And if you haven't done this project before, you've only done it once or twice, you might not yet be at that place and that's totally okay. So what works for me might not necessarily work for you, but I'm trying to set myself up for success with this project and hopefully my thoughts and, and ideas here will help you in coming up with your own plan for Week in the Life. So I like to use a formula for my spreads in Week in the Life. And what I mean by a formula is I follow the same pattern of products and page styles every day for the week. So that means I'm gonna have seven of everything. And then I typically have like an introduction or something along those lines at the beginning of the album. This is going to be my first year doing the 10 by eight album. I have done this size for December daily and I didn't love it for December daily. I really struggled to fill it up. So I was a little hesitant to do it for week in the life but I always have so many photos and things to fill it, put in the album for this project that I thought, you know, I, I wanted to tackle it this year. Even though this is going to be totally just about me and my week in the life because I live alone as of April, 2024. So it's just me and my cat. So we'll see how it goes and if I really have enough going on to fill a 10 by eight, but I really do think I will because I'm gonna focus on the little details. So I did some initial sketching out and this was my messy original sketch to kind of come up with an idea for my page. And I wanna talk you through a little bit what my process was of thinking because I'm hoping that this will help you come up with your own formula if this is what you want to do to approach this project. So going into this project to set myself up for success, I tend to have two things in mind. One, I'm gonna have a page formula set up with products already in the album, and that is going to help me get my, my project from collected photos and memories into the actual album after the documenting week and put this project together. The second thing I'm going to do is come up with a list of specific things I'm looking for during the week. And I call that a scavenger hunt. And there are specific stories or photos that I'm trying to collect throughout the week. This works really well for me because my life, while busy, is not the type of busy that a lot of people have in their life. I don't have little children. Um, I don't have a lot of those responsibilities. It's really just me. So I do have the opportunity to slow down and adjust things as needed. And I do also need to look for all of those little details because otherwise there's not a lot going on. So that this formula tends to work for me to have kind of like a checklist of a scavenger hunt of things to look for. So in the past, I've looked for specific colors each day. I've looked for specific shapes like circles. I've done, you know, a photo of my coffee every morning, a photo of my outfit every day, things like that. And if you wanna look back and see some of the things I've done in the past, you can check out my other Week in the Life videos. I have some of my other Week in the Life albums up here on my YouTube channel, as well as some planning for at least last year, maybe the last two years on my channel here. So the first thing I did, I'm doing, is kind of coming up with that formula, which is also going to kind of guide that checklist for me. So how I did this was I looked at the products and I opened all of my kits and I looked at everything, but honestly, in order to plan it, I was looking at the images online because I find it easier to have um, the smaller pictures to kind of pull from once I've seen what the big products look like. So while I was sketching this out, I was using the photos of 
the products from Ali's website. So if you don't have your products yet at the time you are wanting to plan your project or when you're watching this video, uh, you don't need them. You can use the, the, video, the images from the internet to plan out your project to do these initial sketches because you can get an idea of which product, products you want, which is also good if you haven't shopped yet so that you can decide what you're actually going to use and how much you're going to use in your project. I did that that way rather than using the actual products to sketch it out because having the smaller images just makes it easier to kind of see everything at once. And I was also just sketching it out while on the phone. So I didn't want to kind of be shuffling stuff. So it was easier for me to just um, sketch out my, my general thoughts. So the other things I had kept in mind was I looked through some of my older Weed in Life albums and I found that my formula, my daily formula tended to have eight to 10 pages in it. And those albums were super, super thick. So I really wanted to keep myself to seven, but I, I couldn't, <laughs> I got myself to eight. So that was my, my first kind of restriction I placed on myself was to try to only have seven inserts. I ended up with eight, but some of my initial sketches had too many. Then I started to look at the elements and think about the elements and think of the things I wanted to include. I also really like the difference of a large full page spread versus a smaller page. So like the six by eight layered on top of a 10 by eight rather than 10 by eight after 10 by eight after 10 by eight. So I wanted to try to vary the page sizes as I went. So I did that and I ended up getting most of the things I wanted in here. What I didn't end up including which was in my initial thought here was the idea of having a full photo spread that was going to be across two 10 by eight. So it would be 20 by eight. And I really loved that idea, but I really just couldn't do it because it was going to have too many photo or too many pages. There was no way for me to do it and include all of the other pieces that I wanted without adding another page and then I was going to end up with because those are two 10 by 8 side by side I was going to end up with a lot of like smaller ones together and I just didn't like it so I scrapped that idea even though I really liked it and this is the formula that I came up with so what I'm going to do now is go through my products and actually put them in my album in this formula order so that I have this general idea of how things are going to look in my album but first I need to just like take everything out of the packages. Okay, so my things are a little messy here, but I have most of my pieces out from the main kit I have here. I have all of the cards and things kind of shuffled in here, but I have everything kind of, mostly everything out of the plastic so that I can put it in my album. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the pieces in my album in the order that I want them. And I'm going to use kind of pockets to hold things in place. And I will walk you through kind of my original thought with the first one, and then I will put you on fast forward as I do the rest of the days. So I'm gonna start with Monday. And I will do kind of like an intro at the beginning of the week, like a cover page, but I'm going to do that at the end with my planning. And I might not even do it with my planning. I might wait until the actual week to see how full my album is. So I'm going to start with my transparency for the day. So I have that here. And then the first thing I have in my sketch is a full page photo. And I want to put the plastic words on top of that. So I'm just going to put this in here to hold supplies even though this is really just a full page photo. And what I'm looking for is my plastic word. Let's see here. This is Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Friday, Tuesday, Sunday, of course. The one that I need is the one I can't find. There it is, Monday. So I'm gonna either put this on my photos or on the transparency. I'm not sure yet, probably the photo because transparency on transparency isn't that exciting. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And then on the back, my plan is to have, so this is a full 10 by eight, one of the layered templates that has a lot of photos. I'm either gonna make my own or use one of the ones from Ali Edwards. They haven't yet released those, so I'm not entirely sure what the options are. And I'll make my decision at that point. I might even wait until after the documenting week to see kind of what photos I have and how many I need to include. 
Next, I'm going to include this as my next insert. So those, that's my first two inserts. My third insert is going to be this little thing here, which is part of the main kit. And I'm gonna just put it here in the middle, which is where I think I'm gonna put it. And then my plan is to do some large stamped words on the back. Next, I'm going to include a 10 by eight page protector, which I am actually going to turn into my own personal page protector style that's going to be a three by eight pocket and a seven by eight. And I'm going to use the seven by eight on the front to do main type journaling and I'm gonna stamp the day of the week. Then I'm gonna put one of these, and then I'm gonna put a photo. And then on the back, I'm going to include one of these with my meals. So I'm gonna put my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner. And so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create my own pocket here that's going to have something so it'll be like stitched right here so i'll have this and this so that's really all i have to put in there for now uh, i don't need to stitch the pockets i could do that now but i'm not going to then these are going to go in in their color order so we have red for monday and just punching out the holes here so these half circles pages i'm going to actually put them backwards in here so that the front is just a half circle and this is I'm gonna put a photo of my outfit of the day I've done that in half circle in the past so I think it'll be fun and then on the back I'm gonna have this and I'll have the ability to crop a photo to this shape I don't know yet what I'm gonna put there but that is the plan then let's see here then I need one of these page protectors. So I sketched it like that because I didn't actually remember what they looked like, but these page protectors have the two four by fours and the two four by sixes. So on the front, I actually went over to the daily quarterly scrapbook kit and I wanted to use these, even though they aren't the right colors. They're, I, I like them. I want to use them to add a little bit more journaling. I couldn't remember what it looked like, so I had to put a circle, but it looks like this. So I'm going to put a story on here. So I have to come up with what that story is going to be. I don't know that yet. And then I want this card. So I gotta find the Monday one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just crop this and crop the square off. So I don't love like the mismatch colors on here. So what I'm gonna do is crop the square off so it only has two colors rather than three. And I think I will like that a lot more. And I'm just gonna turn that into like a tag embellishment that's gonna go on top of a photo here. And then the other two spots will also be photos. Then we're gonna flip this over. And then on the backhand side, I also have two photos and a filler. And then I have, I'm going to put this four by six card that says the highs and lows. And I'm going to put something on here. I'm not entirely sure. I'm thinking I might do the weather on there and then a photo that kind of represents the weather, but I'm not entirely sure yet that's going to go into my formula part of what or my my scavenger hunt of what I'm looking for to document so I've got those next I'm going to put in here one of these page protectors that has the two by two pockets so what I want to put in here let's see here I've got to shift some stuff around I need moving things so I'm gonna use let's see we've got where are my little these guys I'm gonna put some of these guys and so I need to I need to sort through these and kind of sort them by the style because some of them do have they have the days of the week so I'm gonna use those ones so those are numbers symbols Okay, so this was a place where looking at the images online really helped because I could see all of these laid out nicely to know what I had and what I didn't have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair the one that has the day of the week with the solid of that same color like this, and I'm gonna put them back to back inside one of these pockets, this, this middle one right here. Let me just stick that in there. And then the, mini kit 
has these ampersands and I'm thinking I'm just gonna put like one of them in a pocket, in a two by two pocket for each day if I can. Some of them are black and some, of them, although these are like more pleathery than I was thinking and that guy's pretty big. But I think that would still be pretty cute to put these in. I'm not sure, I might put it on top of like paper as opposed to just like loose in the pocket when I'm actually putting it together. But I'm gonna put that in there as like a, a placeholder. And then let's see, what else do I want? I want these little two by two pockets from here. So here's the Monday me. So I'm just gonna use the me ones because like I said, it's just me. So even though the mini kit was like you and me, I'm not gonna do the you or the us. I'm just gonna do the me. So I'm not entirely sure exactly what story I'm gonna say for, tell for that. And I'm gonna look in here. Let's see what we have. There's a few more of these, like there's the my stuff, today's stuff, your stuff. I don't know that I need those. Let's see, so that I think is what is good for this. I might end up putting more things in here but I'm, my plan is to do photos on one side and ephemera from the day on the other side. So I'm gonna collect ephemera. And then we're going to end the day out with another full 10 by eight photo. And I'm just gonna put this in here to hold the products I need because what I'm gonna include are those little pockets. Where did those get to? Ah. These guys. I'm gonna put these guys on top of the photo and then I'll have this to pull out. And I'm already kind of thinking about what stories I'm gonna tell, but I'm gonna put this. And then on the back, I kind of wanted to do like some flags on the page, but I'm not entirely sure with that. So I was gonna put this chipboard and I was gonna put one of these ones that's like a different pattern. The problem is there's like six of those patterns. So I'm gonna need one other one that's not that pattern for one of the days, which I hate that when they do that, when there's not seven of everything. There's seven of most things this week, um, this kit, but not everything, which close, close to what I want. Um, I love this collection and I love the bold colors and I love the rainbow. So having the one of everything is really making it so much easier to come up with this formula than in years past, but there's still a few products that don't lend themselves to one per day. So you have to kind of come up with if you want to do something differently with them. So I'm thinking, I don't know that I want to layer these like that. I feel like that was my initial thought. I don't know if it looks great together. So I think I'm just gonna put these in here and leave it as that. And I'm not sure what I'll end up doing beyond that. I'm just thinking though, do I wanna put some of these other embellishments? So I'm looking at the embellishment. So this is my whole formula. I'll just flip you through it quickly. I've got my transparency. I've got my large photo with this guy. I've got this little insert, my large pocket here with that, my half circle, this pocket with some of the cards my two by twos, and then my large photo to end out the day with this chipboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these in for all of the days, and then I'm gonna see what's left, and if there's anything else that I really wanna add in here to bolster my formula. I do wanna say I didn't end up using these. I thought about them, and there's a lot of fun things you could do, but I decided to go with the two by two pockets instead, just because I had too many things to use. So that's something to keep in mind that like the kits, if you wanna use all of the kits and all of the things, that's just too much to fit in one album. Okay.
Okay, so I put my formula in here. So I have my formula for each day in my album. And now I have all of the rest of the stuff to look at to see kind of what else do I have? Is there anything else I wanna slip in here? So I don't think I want to put these numbers or like quote flags in my album. So I'm just gonna put these to the side. And uh, that doesn't mean I won't use them, but I probably am going to end up just putting them back into my stash. I'm just gonna put them in this little tray off to the side. Same with all of these ones. I don't know that I need, so these ones, there were only six of them with the stripes. So I'm not gonna use those. And then here I'm thinking I could use like these. I'm not sure if I really want to though or where I would put them. So I'm just gonna leave those for a minute. Then these die cuts, like this is a you and me one. I considered doing this one as like a letter to myself about like why I'm documenting. And I think that might be kind of fun to just be like, dear you love me. I wish I could put it the other way and have like my photo be like the start of my album and then do it, but I can't because the words will be upside down. Um, I could do like this with a large photo as my intro and then the back of that could be something. So that's a possibility for like my start of my album but I'm not going to kind of commit to that. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. I'm just gonna look through like everything else and see is there anything else I want to kind of designate. So this, there's a you, a me, and an us. I don't think that I wanna use those. I could put like the me on my title page, um, but I don't know if I really want to do that. So I'm just thinking about leaving those there. The rest of this chipboard, so there are some, so these one says big sigh and big smile. Those ones go together, but the rest of these I think have one per day of the color of the day. So what I think I'm gonna do is put all of those embellishments that don't really yet have a home, I'm gonna toss that, in the right day. So like in this front page here, let's see, we've got these that say the story. So there's one for every day. Um, this 24 I guess could go on my title. Oh, and a week in the life. I can put this and this on like my title. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make a pocket here that's gonna hold stuff that could be on my title that I'm considering doing like as my my first page in my album or my intro to the album is going to just be in here. Actually, I'm gonna use this larger pocket that is the 10 by eight size because I might have some larger things I wanna put in there. So I'm gonna just slide this guy in here along with these two pieces. So I have them available. So when I'm ready to put my album together, I have that. Let's see, what do I have over here? There's still a couple of these. So there's the reason why one. And then the days, these ones I could also use. I'm not entirely sure if I wanna use them up here. I'm, I'm considering maybe using them elsewhere. So I'll think about that. And then, so we have Monday is red. So I've got the red one of these, the red one of these, the red one of these that says Monday. So I know I wanna use these, I just don't know which page. So I'm just gonna stick them all into this first one here so I know I have them when I'm putting Monday together. These have the little U ones, so I'm not gonna use those. The us, I'm not gonna use those. And then let's see, this one says you and me, little bits of life, full of thanks for this day and documenting us. These ones I could do, what's this one say? Life is a series of thousand tiny, thousands of tiny miracles. So some of these, like there's not specific for a specific day. So I'm going to kind of put those all together Let's see what else do we have in here. So there's a little heart. So I'm just kind of looking to see if there's one for each day. Love you, our story. We've got dollar signs, question mark. I think there's gonna be a heart for each day. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those. I think there's a heart for each day and a plus for each day. It's quotes, there's a plus. 
you and me. Some of these are super cute. Our week. We love. We eat. We are. There's a couple more ampersands. And then there is a frame per day. So I'm trying to think if there's a place in my formula where I could include the frame. And what I could do is go to one of my large photos. That's a full page photo and like put this, this is the red one. No, this is the red, that's the orange. I could put this on top to have like a photo on a photo. Um, I'm not sure I really want to do that anywhere. I'm trying to see if there's anywhere that that would work. I could put it in like the four by four, but then it's a little bit the wrong size. Or I could turn one of the four by sixes into a three by four and two three by fours. I don't think I really want to do that though. I'm not, I'm thinking I might not end up using those. So I, I think I will slip them in here though. So I know I have them, but I might not use them. So I'm going to put that with those other little embellishments. And then I've got the little red heart and the red plus sign. And these are all just gonna be in this first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for all of the days. over here is the stuff I'm not going to use. These are things I might use, so I'm going to get a tray for those. Actually, I'm going to put them in this little box here. Let's see, do these fit? Kind of. So I'm going to put all of this, all of these embellishments that I might use that don't have a specific day in here. And then I also have some three by fours and some four by sixes here that I might use in some of the, I have like a couple pockets that rather if I have not, don't have enough photos, I might use one of those instead. I get rid of all these little circles. That stuff I'm not going to use. I have my stamps, which I might use. And then I'm going to look through my daily scrapbook kit again. So I, don't, I'm considering actually, if I want to do the numbers, I could put like the one here, but I think that they got off, like they're different. So I was thinking to put like the one on Monday and then let's see, but then colors don't match up because they don't get to, they don't match up with the rainbow. So it wouldn't be the same colors. It would be the same on Monday. Tuesday is orange. Wednesday is peach and I would have yellow. Thursday is yellow and I'd have lime. Friday is green and would be green again. Saturday's blue would be teal and Sunday. I think I like that idea. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna put these in here as a possibility to put on top of those. Um, I'm not committed 100% to it yet, so I'm not going to adhere them down. Sometimes I do adhere stuff down like that before the documenting week, and I might come back in here and do stuff like that, but I'm not going to do that right this moment because I'm not sure that that's what I want. I'm just going to go ahead and slip them in here. Um, the really the main things that are holding me back on committing to that are the colors don't exactly match up. And the um, numbers here go all the way to nine. 
and I'm not going all the way to nine, I'm only going to seven, so I'd have like two extra numbers or and a zero that I can't use. this one as potential for the beginning of the week. And I could do these ones as four by fours instead of these four by fours. So that is my starting place for Week in the Life in my album. So now I need to move over to my planner and figure out my plan of attack for collecting information. Okay, so you guys, I took a little bit of a break from my Week in Life planning because I was hit with an unexpected power outage and then I had to go into my week. So in the first part of this video, you saw how I laid out my formula, but now I'm going to talk about my story ideas and my scavenger hunt list. So every year for Week in the Life, I create what I call a scavenger hunt, where there are certain things that I try to capture either in my notes or by photo. And what I'm gonna do is make a checklist here of everything I need to capture throughout the week and have this out on my desk during the week so that I can reference it and make sure that I'm staying on track. Okay, so for 2023, and I think I did it in a few prior years, I printed out my checklist. And I wanted to show those to you here, but for whatever reason, I can't find my old ones. So I will just put a picture on the screen of what I shared last year prior to Week in the Life. So you can see kind of what my checklist was for each day. So I'm going to go through, and I just have a sticky note here to start. I'm gonna go through my album and try to come up with what I want my checklist to be. And I also have my formula here, so I have an idea kind of what I want. So for each day, I have my transparency and I'm gonna put my number on it. So I just need a large photo and that's gonna be a large landscape photo. I don't really think that I need to come up with something specific for that photo. I think I'm just gonna pick my favorite. And then the back is gonna be a layered template with multiple photos on it. And those layer templates have not yet come out. So I'm going to probably use whatever uh, they come out with from Allie Edwards as my jumping off point for that based on whatever photos I have, or I will uh, make my own. Then let's see, then I have this, I'm gonna do large stamped words. So I'm gonna make a note that I need a large stamped phrase so that I can think about what I want that to say during that day. So I might put something along the lines of like, this is what, um, you know, today was about something, you know, or I could do a quote from the day or a song lyric, something representative of the day. Hopefully that's a little better. So I will come up with that and I will try to come up with that during the week itself. But for things like that, especially if you're trying to do this and you feel like there's too much to capture, focus on the photos first because you can't go back and recapture the day and then focus on writing down the details. Okay, so next I'm gonna do my main type journaling. So I'm going to do my journaling. I don't know that I'm going to do journal prompts this year. I think I'm just gonna do journaling. Um, in years past, you can see that I did do a journaling prompt I think that I didn't, let me see, I'm looking at my checklist for 2023 and I don't think I wrote out prompts on there. I think I wrote it like as I was going. So sometimes I would do like Mondays look like, and you know, maybe I will start doing that, but right now I'm not going to have a jumping off point for that. I do have the morning, afternoon, and evening for photos. So I want food photos three times per day. So that's probably going to be my breakfast will be my coffee, my afternoon will be my lunch, and then my dinner. So I'm probably going to make a note that I want to capture those three meals. 
Um, so that's actually going to be on the back. So the front here, it's just gonna be a vertical three by eight photo, but I don't have anything specific that I need to document with that. And then another photo on the back. My outfit of the day photo, so I know I want that. And I'm gonna cut that into a half circle. And I've done it like that in the past. And that's something to keep in mind. I'm not sure that I'm going to do one this year, but in past years I have looked for a photo in a specific shape. So I know I did circle photos and I don't know that I did that in 23. I think I did it in 22 where I was looking for a photo of something that was circular every day so I could cut it out into the shape of a circle. I'm not doing that this year, but here I'm doing a half circle. So you could do that with this. You could do something that is shaped in a circle and then just cut it in half. So think about like a bowl looking down on it. Or for when I did the circles every day, I know I did my cat sleeping in a circle. And you could just do the semicircle with this, or you could have another page here in the full circle photo and like journaling or something, or do two semicircles. Here I'm gonna do a photo, but I don't think I'm gonna do a specific shaped photo, so I don't need to worry about that. Here's just more photos and journaling, but I do need something to go on this story. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make a separate spot here. So journaling. I have my large block per day. I have my stamped phrase. Then I have my four by four card. I'm not sure if I want a specific theme for this, but I probably will. Um, I'm not, I'm gonna think about that as I go through and see all the things that I need. And the back here, so I do have the high and low. And I think I wanna make that the temperature. So high and low. And I don't think that that's what um, Allie intended with this. I think she meant like the highs of the day and the lows of the day, like a highlight and a low light. But I'm not going to document it like that because, I don't know, I actually do like that prompt, but I, I really like documenting the weather. And I think this is the earliest we've ever done week in the life in the year. I feel like it's always like May or the summertime. And I know Allie did it in the fall one year, and that was like a year I didn't do it with her. So she hasn't done that again, even though I really wish she would. Um, so this is more into like spring weather for me and spring weather where I live is very annoying and ups and downs. So I want to document that. And then I want a photo here that's going to represent the weather. So I'm going to do like a horizontal narrow weather photo. And what I mean by that is like, if it's rainy, I'm gonna take a picture of the rain. If it's sunny, I'll take a picture where you can see the sunshine. And just something that captures the weather. It could be like my clothing or anything, but that's gonna be one of my scavenger hunt items is searching for something that captures the weather. And then let's see. So the rest of these are just gonna be photos. Okay, then moving on here, these are just photos. Me, just a little something. So that, I think I'm gonna do some journaling there. So I have the two by two, me, just a little something. I'm not sure yet what I wanna put in there. On the back, I have ephemera, so I have to collect my ephemera. And then let's see here. These were just extra things. And then I have another large photo. So this one on the back is just a random photo, but this one, I'm gonna do the ING word. So I want to come up with an ING word every day and capture a large photo of it and do journaling about it. So my ING word and I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is stuff like scrapbooking, journaling, stitching and get all of my like hobbies, reading and do hobbies for that. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do those on hobbies, I might come up with a list ahead of time for my ING words, but that's definitely something I'm going to document. So now I've gone through my whole formula and I'm thinking about my journaling. I have kind of, let's do my ING pocket here. I really have five places that I'm doing journaling this, this week. So in the past I have done large 
like free form journaling and sometimes it takes up like three pages and I've just let it flow. This year I'm not going to do that. I'm going to contain my main journaling to the one um, pocket here. So it's going to be this size and it's just going to be my block journaling but I am going to stamp the word large here so it's not going to be able to take up the full page and that's going to be the bulk of my journaling. So I'm not going to go into super I'm not just going to let myself free write a ton there. So I've got to think about what I want on these things. So I think this one, just a little something, I'm going to put my mood. So I think I'm going to put what I'm feeling. And maybe I'll stamp it and just make a note, but I want to put my mood on here. And then I have this 4x4 four four card for stories. So I think maybe I'll just, maybe I can just highlight one story of the day. highlight a story and then my large block of the journaling is going to be just my overview of the day and then of course I have my ing pocket which is going to be kind of what I'm working on for my hobbies and I might do maybe like actual work but I don't think so I think I'm going to do hobbies and I think I can come up with seven hobbies that I have that I'm working on at this point in time each day and focus on those because in the current stage of my life, I am an empty nester. Um, I'm not sure how much my daughter is gonna show up in here. I don't yet have like this week planned out in my life. So I don't know yet um, where she will show up. Probably at least some text, but I'm not sure like how I will document that. So this is really gonna be focused on me. I also have a boyfriend, um, but he does not live with me at this point in time. So I'm not going to be documenting him quite as much. Uh, it will be really be focused on me and I really love that focus for this album. So I'm really going to embrace that and I'm excited about that for my journaling and my photos. So now that I have this list, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and make my checklist on here of the things I want to capture this week. And I will just put the music on while I do that and you can see how this comes out at the end.
Okay, so there you go. Here's my plan for a week in the life. I have my layout sketch. Of course, I'm not going to be working on this at all during the week. I just have this here for reference because it gives me an idea just to keep in the back of my mind of how many large photos I want, how many photos I want. I have a tendency to take too many photos rather than not enough. I know some people have the opposite problem, but having it laid out, I think gives me a good idea of how many photos. And I might even write down in here like what my max number of photos is per day, but it's hard to know without knowing how many I'm gonna put on this layer template. And then on this side, I have my checklist for each day. So I will leave this out on my desk during the week in the life documenting week, and I will look at this and check things off as I capture them. It's important to remember that if I miss things, it's okay. I can either go back and recreate it or just skip it on that specific day. That's no reason to scrap the project. You've definitely done that in the past. Some of these things I can fill in later, like my mood. If I forget to document my mood on Thursday, on Friday, I probably will remember how I felt on Thursday. I also can reference my journal, things like that to fill in gaps. And then as far as my actual journaling, I tend to type it up during the week itself using the day one app. So I will possibly do that or the notes app or just in a Word document so that I have it somewhere typed already. So when I'm ready to put my album together, I can just copy and paste and edit it. So that is the conclusion of my plan here. I plan to share some more content on Week in the Life Prep over on the Allie Edwards blog. So stay tuned for that. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that this helps you get ready to document Week in the Life this year. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye.